Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Kevin Holmes. Here are your headlines for Monday, January 31st. Late this evening, KCMO police involved in a standoff with a suspect wanted in a deadly shooting. It all went down at the Citadel Apartments near 63rd and the Paseo. Investigators say the accused gunman is the man wanted in connection to a deadly shooting on an Amtrak train. It happened in Lee Summit. So Kansas City and Lee Summit police officers then went to an apartment complex on a residence check for that accused shooter. They say the suspect was there, pointed a gun at officers. Download the KSHB 41 smartphone app for updates on this developing story. Starting Tuesday, the Kansas Department of Health and Environment will stop contact tracing for COVID-19. The health department said a record number of cases and increasing resistance to participate led to this change. The department still encourages people to reach out to your close contacts if you've become infected. Started in March, northbound I-35 on the west side of the downtown loop will close for the Buck O'Neill Bridge Project. A closure will last until December 2. Modot says the new bridge is expected to last for 100 years and will require less costly maintenance. It will also allow drivers to directly connect between I-35 and US-69 without getting off the highway. Gary Lezak with the forecast. Kevin, the main wave of snow will be Wednesday morning, 5 a.m. to noon. And here's the band of snow. This will be heavy snow, really heavy snow. That's how you get two or three inches real quick. But then the second wave, watch what happens. The first wave goes by, the second wave approaches, and that second wave will have Kansas City on the edge. Watch, see, right there. So we're, the places that get both bands of snow will get the most. Right now we're expecting three to five inches across the city, maybe a little more in some spots. That's how it looks right now. So you can see that snow accumulate. The biggest snow down to the southeast, this is where six to 12 inches of snow or more could fall. Sedalia and Clinton.